Stop, I know what you're thinking. Another YouTube channel using CES as clickbait. Well, the difference between me and those other channels are that I actually went to CES. Now, I was actually there because I was working a job that I can't talk about. However, while I was there, I was able to look around and see a lot of cool things that you should be looking forward to and learning about for 2018. But at this point, I know that a lot of other YouTube channels have already covered the main announcements for CES. UFD Tech actually did a really good job. Check that channel out if you wanna see any of those videos. So for the sake of not repeating information, I'm only gonna emphasize the best things that I saw and show you the rest of what I was able to see. The first and coolest thing that I learned while I was there is about a company called Inwin. Now, a lot of you have probably heard about Inwin, but this was my first time actually coming across them and figuring out what they make and what they're about. I talked to one of the guys at the booth and they told me that they used to make a lot of standard cases for older computers. But nowadays, they've shifted more over to the computer connoisseur side of things. After the show, I checked out their website and saw that this company actually makes some of the most insane cases I have ever seen in my entire life. Now, pretty much all of the cases that they show on their website are available to the public. The downside is they actually have a pretty insane price to match their awesome aesthetic. So if you have a sizable amount of extra cash lying around and you really wanna make your rig look as sick as possible, I highly recommend checking out InWin. Another thing that stood out to me this year was Intel's display. This year, they primarily focused on VR and tried not to think about their kernel bug CPU issues. Every time I passed their display stage, they were always showcasing their VR setup for the game Unspoken. I know they're releasing a VR dedicated machine to play games like this, but just going off strictly from what I saw in the gameplay and the actual display, it actually kind of gave me hope that there might be a VR esports scene coming in the future. I know a lot of you probably already thought this, but it might be a lot closer than we assume. And if the esports scene ever actually starts to require any form of athleticism, you better believe I'm swapping careers immediately. Now the last thing I wanna talk about is NVIDIA. A lot of you are probably not really happy to hear anything about companies even related to graphics cards, but we're actually not gonna talk anything about GPUs. At the show, they were showcasing their software and hardware for autonomous driving cars. I don't know if a lot of you know this, but NVIDIA is actually the current leader in autonomous driving. I actually don't know that much to go ahead and talk about it. It's something that you could learn about, I'm sure, with a simple Google search, but based off of the car I was able to see that they set up and the massive chip that they're installing inside these things, I'm actually really excited for the future because obviously autonomous driving is something that the world has been working on, but based off of their demonstrations, it seems like we could be really close to having cars that drive themselves around. Those were my main highlights for CES in 2018. I'm really happy I was able to go. I wish I could talk to you guys more about why I was there, but I hope you enjoyed seeing what I saw and I hope you enjoy the rest of the footage I'm gonna show you right now. As always, have a great day and thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, side note, so obviously this channel is still really small, but we're getting close to the 500 subscribers mark and I wanted to let you guys know as soon as we reach that benchmark, I am wanting to do a giveaway. And I have the item right here in my hands, um, but I'm not gonna show it to you. I'm gonna leave it a surprise. I will say this, at 500 subscribers, I'm giving away a graphics card. It's nothing super stellar, but it's definitely something that can boost your performance of your PC if you are just starting to get into computer building. So stay posted for that. As soon as we hit the 500, I will make an announcement and show what the giveaway is but I just wanted to give a little spoiler for right now. Anyways, yep, thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day.